La parole à... I give the floor to the World Evangelical Alliance. Thank you, Mr. President. We would like to thank Vietnam for engaging in the UPR. Vietnam pursues a policy of controlling and containing religious communities. The 2016 law on belief in religion requires the registration of religious communities in order to operate legally. Registered communities are closely monitored, while unregistered communities, including Protestant Christians, independent Chao Dao and Hoa Hao groups, and independent Buddhists remain suppressed. The mostly unregistered ethnic minority Christian churches in mountainous areas are especially affected by the government's control and containment policy. Their members are subjected to severe harassment and violence by both authorities and the local population. We deeply regret that Vietnam has not accepted UPR recommendations to revise the 2016 law on belief and religion. Contrary to Vietnam's assertion, this 2016 law is not in conformity with international human rights standards. This was confirmed by the Human Rights Committee and its recommendations to Vietnam in March 2019. We also regret that Vietnam did not follow up on any of the recommendations of the Special Rapporteur on Freedom of Religion or Belief following his visit to Vietnam in 2014. Mr. President, we appeal to the government of Vietnam to review the way it treats its minorities. This requires a paradigm shift whereby people of faith, people of different faiths, are not seen as a national threat or, or a threat to national unity that needs to be contained, but are welcomed into a pluralistic society where they can contribute in goodwill to the development and flourishing of the nation. Thank you, Mr. President. Je